Some people call me a deceptor. Some have assumed that I'm a con. I guess that would make me a deceptor con. I am not. But I am a transformer. Some may wonder, are you really transforming your height? If all you're talking about is your morning height, and you're having all these gains with your morning height, but your evening height isn't that impressive. Are you really having a height increases if they are morning height increases and not evening height increases? Well, this video will be a reply to that sort of logic, which is so understandable. I can understand that. Some people height may be increasing in the morning, but their evening height is staying the same. And they might assume, oh, this stuff doesn't work. I should quit. Or, even worse, some people may be increasing their morning height, but their evening height may actually appear to go down. Like they lose height in the evening. Oh, that's, that, that can be devastating. But, it seems to happen, so it's real when it occurs and it can be discouraging to a lot of people and some people may be tempted to just quit and throw their hands up and say, forget all this. Some, like myself, may experience gains in morning height over time, but when looking at the evening height, the gains may not seem to be proportionate. There may be more gains with the morning height, but not as much with evening height. So, what's up with all that? What's the deal? What's more important, evening height or morning height? And what should one base their decision on when it comes to should they continue to grow tall program should they quit should they make that decision based on the evening height or the morning height in my opinion it depends it depends <clears throat> now what might it depend on oh it's very simple what's your hedgehog yes it has everything to do with a hedgehog. Maybe not everything to do with a hedgehog, but maybe, depending on, on, on who you are, it may have a lot to do with a hedgehog. What is a hedgehog? What is it? I like to explain it in this video. To me, height is riches. And I want to be rich. I want to be rich. No, really, I want to be rich. And there are different kinds of wealth, okay? A good family life, that's wealth. Knowledge is another form of wealth. Okay? Um, money, that's wealth. Land, that is the new wealth. Or it's the old wealth that people are beginning to recognize more. That land is really where the wealth is. Not so much gold, but land. Um, I won't go there, I won't go there. Okay, there are other types of wealth as well. And I can't think of them right now, but let me talk about this height. And when it, when it comes to achieving height, which is wealth to me, and I can go into why it's wealth, but that's wealth to me. Uh, building height, building my riches can be quite similar to how a business builds its riches. How businesses grow. How businesses expand. How businesses, you know, when you look at their stock charts, 
it, it rises up. It may go down every now and then, but if you look at the trend, it keeps going up. Okay? I kind of look at how I achieve my height gains like that, like a business, like I'm growing a business. And there was a book on business. I'll try not to make this boring. I, you, you need to listen to it. You need to listen to it, though. But I want to say it's very profound. It's very profound. There was a book written by a gentleman. His name is Jim Collins. The title of the book is Good to Great. There was a Jay-Z song that I heard when I was in my car. I don't listen to Jay-Z music. I don't. But I could tell by the voice that it was a Jay-Z song. And in that song, he said, you can't just be good. You got to be great. That's not the exact words, but I think, uh, I'm sure that was Jay-Z. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was Jay-Z. And he mentioned that. I think in that song, he was actually making a reference to the book, Good to Great. You can't just be good. You got to be great. I wouldn't be surprised if Jay-Z has actually spoken with the author of Jim Collins. He's well known in the business world. People love the book. It's is, is, is called one of the greatest books on business ever written. Uh, uh, written. Let me tell you about this book and how it relates to height growth and morning height versus evening height. Because we're talking about how to get rich. More on that later. But let's talk about this height riches and these business riches as it relates to this book. He looked at 11 companies, okay? And these 11 companies were sorry, they were pitiful, and looked like they had no hope. They looked like they had no hope. And they had these companies had competitors, and and the and the, and the the competitors were crushing it in their respective industries. They 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 were the kings. They were on top of the world. And then you had these eleven companies, and you know, in in different industries, and you know, and, and in their industries, they they were they 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 were nobody. No one expected much from them. And out of nowhere. They crushed the competition, and the stock just flew up, flew off the charts. Off, it was insane. It was insane. Okay, and what uh, the author and his research team did? They looked at all these companies, and they looked at the it factor. What was it? that helped these companies to accomplish this. And, you, and so they took these 11 companies, all different groups of people, and they tried to see the common thread. And they found several key factors that they all had in common that helped them to go from good to great. And do you know what one of those factors were? There were a few. There were a few. In this video, I'm going to tell you about one of those factors and how you can use that success to create your own height wealth. Okay? I'm using it to create mine. And I know i got to get on my game. Like I'm, I'm putting out in the video, I'm not a good example. I'm a bad example when it comes to what's possible. I'm a bad example with what's possible with my... I know I can do more. I am a good example when it comes to what's possible when one does something. But... I'm a bad example of what's really, really possible. And so, I got to get on my game. But this one key concept helps me to stay focused on my game. And I'm going to share that with you. All of these companies have what is called a hedgehog concept. What is a hedgehog concept? Well, unfortunately... It's 9 minutes and 26 seconds in this video, and the clock is ticking, and pretty soon it will be 10 minutes. So I must end this video now and commence with the part 2. I know some of you may not like that, but I try to give the best answers that I can, and so you get to hear a story. Next video.